Converting Fractions to Decimals, Part 3. In this part, we're going to learn the universal method of converting any fraction to a decimal. Let's start with a simple example. 3 over 4. The line in a fraction represents the division symbol. So instead of writing 3 fourths, we can write 3 divided by 4. Let's use long division to divide 3 by 4. To do this, we're going to use the four steps of long division. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Step 1. Divide. 3 divided by 4 means how many times does 4 go into 3? None. So we put a 0 above the 3. Step 2. Multiply. We multiply 4 times 0 to get 0. We write the 0 beneath the 3. Step 3. Subtract. 3 minus 0 equals 3. Step 4 is bring down, but we have nothing to bring down. We need to extend the problem. We write the decimal point after the 3 and a 0 in the tenths place to make 3.0. We can do this because a 0 to the right of a decimal does not change the value. Bring the decimal straight up. Now we bring down the 0. We have to repeat the cycle. First step is to divide. Divide 30 by 4. How many times does 4 go into 30? Seven times. So we write the 7 above the 0. Step 2. Multiply. 4 times 7 equals 28. We write the 28 below the 30, and then we subtract. 30 minus 28 equals 2. 2 is our remainder. The next step is to bring down, but we have nothing to bring down. So we extend the problem again. We add another 0 because it doesn't change the value. Now we can bring down the 0. We have 20. Now we repeat the cycle. Step 1. Divide 20 by 4. How many times does 4 go into 20? Five times, so we write the five above the zero. Step two, multiply. Four times five equals 20, so we write 20 below the 20. Step three, subtract. 20 minus 20 equals zero. The remainder is zero, and we have nothing to bring down. So our final answer is 0 0.75. We converted 3 fourths into 0 0.75 using division. Let's do another example. 5 over 8. 5 eighths is the same as saying 5 divided by 8. Let's use long division to solve. The first step is to divide 5 by 8. How many eighths go into 5? 0. So we write the 0 above the 5. Step 2. Multiply. 8 times 0 equals 0, so we write the 0 below the 5. Step 3. Subtract. 5 minus 0 equals 5. Step 4. Bring down. We have nothing to bring down, so we need to extend the problem. We write the decimal point after the 5 and a 0 in the tenths place to make 5.0. A 0 to the right of the decimal does not change the value. Next, we bring the decimal straight up. Now we bring down the zero. We have 50. Repeat the cycle. Step 1. Divide 50 by 8. How many 8s go into 50? 6. Step 2. Multiply. 8 times 6 equals 48. So we write 48 below the 50. Step 3. Subtract. 50 minus 48 equals 2. Step 4. Bring down. We have nothing to bring down, so we extend the problem by adding a zero. Now we bring down the zero. We have 20. Repeat the cycle. Step 1 is divide. How many 8s go into 20? 2. So we write the 2 above the zero. Step 2. Multiply. 8 times 2 equals 16, so we write the 16 below the 20. Step 3. 
subtract. 20 minus 16 equals 4. Step 4. Bring down. We have nothing to bring down, so we expand the problem again by adding a 0. Now we bring down the 0. We have 40. Repeat the cycle. Step 1 is to divide. How many 8s go into 40? 5. So we write the 5 above the 0. Step 2. Multiply. 8 times 5 equals 40, so we write the 40 below the 40. Step 3. Subtract. 40 minus 40 equals 0. We have no remainder, so 0 0.625 is our answer. Sometimes, when using long division to convert fractions to decimals, we can't get 0 as a remainder. We can divide forever and we will never ever get a 0 as a remainder. An example of this is 1 third. You can divide 1 by 3 using long division or a calculator and you will see this happen. After the decimal point, you will have an infinite number of 3s. This is known as a repeating decimal. We can use a repeating bar to represent this type of decimal. We write the bar above the number that's repeating. This keeps our answer short and clear. Another interesting example is 6 over 11. This is also a repeating decimal. If you divide 6 by 11, you get 0 0.45, 45, 45, and so on. In this case, two digits repeat. So we write the repeating bar above 45. Now let's look at how we convert mixed numbers into decimals. We have 1 and 3 eighths. We can also write it as 1 plus 3 eighths. We leave the 1 and we convert 3 eighths to a decimal. We get 0 0.375. Now we add the whole number and the decimal to get 1.375. We can also convert it to a decimal using a different method, by converting the mixed number into an improper fraction. 1 and 3 eighths can also be written as 11 over 8. We divide 11 by 8 and we get 1.375. The answer is the same with both methods, so you can pick which one you like more. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.